guys, in this video, I will show you how to modify the user registration email template. It is an email that is sent to your users whenever they register with uh, with your application. Uh, it is quite different than the other email uh, template that we have discussed in one of the videos, which is the confirmation template. So essentially, uh, you can configure your application to send out two emails at the time when the user registers. One email could be to confirm their email address, and that one is completely configurable, and you can enable that behavior by clicking users and then in user registration, this toggle, if it is turned on, an email will go out to confirm their email address. But there is another email template and that one is sent out when users register. And by the way, you can disable that email altogether. Uh, let me show you how that works. So all email templates are gonna be on the messaging screen. And then if you switch to emails, this is the interface that is uh, where you can configure your email templates. So the, the user made registration, this one right here, uh, it is sent out when users register. Uh, you can configure the email subject and the email body, which is a, an HTML based uh, email template. So you can customize it to match the overall look and feel and visual and conversational style of your application. If you do not want that email to go out, simply click this uh, checkbox right here, do not send email for the, for the event, and that email will not go out. So for, for this one, uh, to, uh, to customize and demonstrate how it works, let's just say that the email subject is going to be thank you for registering with our app. And in here, this is just a template and we what we put in there by default is essentially grading and uh, listing, uh, just providing a template for features that your application has. Uh, and in here, you can just, by the, once again, change the look and feel and the style. If you want to do it at the HTML level, uh, click view and then change the source code. This is the HTML source for that email template. And uh, once you're done, just simply click save and that, uh, template is now saved. So at this point, any user who would register with your application would be receiving that email uh, from, from back endless from your application. There are several uh, substitution variables that you can use in here. As you can see, one of them is used, which is the app name. And that one is gonna be substituted with the actual name of your application. So in this case, the name of my app is demo app. So when that email goes out, then uh, app name in these curly braces will be substituted with demo app. To demonstrate how it works, what I'm going to do is I will switch to data. And in here, I will create a user account. And for this, I will use my email address. So now the user is registered. Uh, and uh, since I disabled email confirmation, that user is active right away. The user status is enabled. And that email, uh, based on the user registration template, has gone out to that user. And let's check the email account. You can see right here, this is the email. Thank you for registering with our app. And uh, the contents are right there exactly as in the email template. That's, uh, that's it and a very easy to use functionality that gives you greater control of how your application, how your backend communicates with the users who register with your application. Thank you, and as always, happy coding.